Noble. It's really remarkable that uh, just over a couple of months ago there was the whole of the second division between these two sides. And now they look pretty well matched. The makings here of a very good game of football. Good break by Lee. Courage to put his foot on the ball to lose the man. Smith back harassing, but Lee still going and shooting well. And saved by Stevenson. Only just with fingertips. What very good play that was by Lee. He was given a beautiful ball just about on the halfway line. And he had attention from two players. And yet he kept going, kept his balance and his nerve and found a good shot. Now Smith breaking down the right with Kinden ahead of him. This is Scott. It's got a beautiful cross met by Fletcher's head. He'll have wanted that to go near a goal. Second one was put over the top by Pratt. Fletcher got a good header in the second time. And although it was turned over the top, I thought by Pratt, there may have been an infringement, there may have been some pushing, but the kick anyway is Spurs. Now, who picks up an awful lot of loose balls in midfield and is given the room to do it. It's a nice check and change of direction. Noble's clearance. And Taylor allowed to get away and shoot. In! You can't give Peter Taylor that kind of opportunity. Wriggled away when he probably should have been closed down. And when he struck it with the left foot, it looked like a goal all the way. So that's nearly 20 minutes gone. And Peter Taylor has scored his 11th goal of the season. Beautifully struck with that left foot. Brennan forward. Taylor again. And in he goes again, sending blood now. And Lee did well to meet it. The cross from Taylor was good, curling in behind the defenders. And Lee coming in hard on the blind side, met it well, but couldn't get it on target. Again, it's the Cochrane and Scott partnership deciding what to do about the free kick. Scott takes it. Good jump by Lee. Ingham on his chest. And a beautiful ball in for Cochrane. Pull back now for Ingham. And they deserve that one. That was a lovely goal. they say and magic it was the header out taken on his chest by Billy Ingham and he found the perfect ball inside an advancing defence Cochrane was onto it clipped it back and Ingham did the rest his fourth goal of the season and I doubt if he scored a better one oh we've had half an hour of excellent football at Turf Moor 1-1 the score McAllister forward to Jones Kinden, Holmes, McNabb, still McNabb, through for Hoddle, he's found his space, and a little chip, oh well caught by Stevenson, but what lovely football by Glenn Hoddle. Well, they're the sort of skills that will surely win him his third England under-21 cap against Italy on Wednesday. By Noble, forward by Holmes. Ingham. Now oh, can Kinden make that? Yes, he's beaten McAllister to it. McAllister stayed with him, but it still needed a good clearance from Armstrong. And Kinden made a good break down there after he'd been given a very good ball to chase. McAllister stayed with him, but Kinden still played the cross.
on the edge of the box. Oddle the culprit, Ingham the victim. Mr. Baker, well placed to give that decision. Kindon chips it across, Noble there! five years since Burnley paid £40,000 for Peter Noble and what value they've had for money so often he turns up as he did there the little chip free kick from Steve Kindon and in went Noble glancing it in off his forehead and Spurs are now behind Better by Pratt, Jones, Hoddle that's a lovely ball by Hoddle for Taylor Taylor's shot, just fast. But what skill there from Glenn Hoddle. Sort of ball that he plays so well, that little forward chipped half volley that fell absolutely to an inch for Taylor. And Taylor striding on strongly, but putting the shot past the far post. Callister. Taylor, dummy, Hoddle, well saved by Stevenson. It was a perfectly worked move by Tottenham. McAllister's cross, Taylor the dummy, Hoddle the shot, and Stevenson's fingertips rescued Burnley. Hoddle going in at the near post. This may be for one of those flick back headers. No, almost in at the far post by Taylor. It was Ingham who blocked it. Well, those corners really putting pressure on Burnley, and they were close there with Taylor's header. Brennan down the line for Kindon. Tangling with McAllister, but getting the ball forward for Ingham. Three men in the middle, Fletcher, Smith, and Cochrane. And obstruction is given, and it's an indirect free kick. Ingham cutting in the body check and Mr. Baker says that's obstruction well it was from a spot not very far away from that that Kindon chipped one over for Noble to get a goal and Noble is lurking at the back now and over it comes towards him once again and he met it Spurs didn't see him coming. He lurked at the back of the six-yard area, overcame the free kick, and roundy nipped and almost made it. Untimely defeat.